Hi everybody, Mike Toy here, Regional Sales Manager for National Brokerage. Today's video we're going to be talking about term laddering. Uh, we're going to talk about what it is, why you want to know what it is, how it can help you as an agent, and why it's good for your client, and then how to go about doing one. Um, they're actually very simple, so this uh, won't be a very long video. You'll be a pro in a few minutes. Quick intro, uh, Mike Toy again. I'm the Regional Sales Manager here in our Boise, Idaho office. National Brokerage is a full service life insurance and annuities broker. Uh, we've been in business for about 20 years now. If you don't have a rep, give us a call. We'll set you up with a rep who can keep you current and up to date with all of these fun things we're talking about here. So without further ado, term laddering. What it is in a nutshell is an alternative to writing one large, long term policy. So let's say you've got a client, the Johnsons, and they purchased a $600,000 30-year term. Rather than doing it that way, what you could do is write three separate term policies for smaller amounts and varying lengths. So you could write a $200,000 policy for 10 years, $200,000 policy for 20 years, and $200,000 for 30 years. Now keep in mind this is a general example. You could do any amounts for any term lengths, uh, but the concept is the same. You're stacking up smaller policies in lieu of one large policy. And the reason you do that is twofold. One, um, it anticipates the needs of your client before you get there. Let's say they've got kids uh, going to college and they'll be adults in 10 years, so they won't need some of that coverage. So instead of rewriting the entire policy when that time comes, this amount just drops off on its own. So now they've got two policies instead of three for the correct amount of coverage. Uh, it's not a perfect science. Of course, you want to stay in front of them and, and make sure that you do regular policy reviews because who knows, they may have more kids at that time and need more coverage. But, um, but doing it this way sort of anticipates what you do know. Uh, and the reason that's important is because if you did rewrite the policy in 10 years or 20 years, they are older and their prices would be higher. Uh, so they may end up getting this less coverage for the same amount of premium. Um, this way they're locked in at their current age and their current health status. Um, the reason it helps you as an agent or an agency is because it gives you a little edge. It's a super easy concept that anyone can do for the most part, um, but a lot of people don't know about it or think of it. So it just gives you something that other agents don't have uh, and it sets you apart, which is that the goal. That's what we all want to do as agents and brokers is we want to be different than everybody else. So this gives you that little edge that you need to separate yourself from everybody else. Um, so I hope that this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call at the number above or shoot us an email. We'd love to talk to you. If you found this video helpful in any way, please click like and subscribe and um, I can uh, respond to any comments if you want to leave some comments in the box and uh, check out some of our other videos as well. I've got a good one coming up on conversions, which sort of ties in to this term laddering concept, uh, but it is separate. So it warranted a, a separate video. So hope that helps. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a great day.